You have a rare 695 Anniversario edition. More carbon goodies. That's not standard. Some devil looking man. It's actually a Monster Energy Yamaha edition. Best colour here by far. From red leather. Oh. And we have Pepsi the Poodle here. What have you brought Lenny to the bath mate? Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. Today I'm really excited to be bringing back the Abarth content back to the channel as today we're at an Abarth meet held of course at the one and only Revo's Hub. Today's Abarth meet is being organised by a local Abarth club called Bad Abarth so I'll leave all their links in the description to this video. Really good turnout here so far so let's take a look around. Do you want to say hello for YouTube? Hello. What have you brought Lenny to an Abarth meet? I bought my poor old Mac. Look. It's a beautiful colour though. Do you know the colour name or not? No, I don't know. It's just a nice shiny maroon metallic, isn't it? Yeah. No, it is very, very nice. What is it? A V6, isn't it? V6, 2.8. Oh! Creep. What is it? No, beige leather, isn't it? It's biscuit, they call biscuit. it. Biscuit. That's very, very nice. See, I used to work with Lenny and, uh, yeah, really um, random bumping into him here, but nice to do so. So I had to get him on his really nice Merc on the channel, <laughs> although we're here to film a baths. So here's the little bath trio out the front as such. Really cool bath punto here. Got the cool number plate kind of spelling Scorpio. It's even got the Italian flag there on the number plate as well. Got the different bath coloured overlay on the badge. A bit of red contrasting on the body here. Really liking the white wheels. We've got the red Brembos poking through at the back. Uh, vented, drilled, disc brakes, whatever you call it. Because I'm little, it does actually say a bath there on the roof as well, which is pretty cool. Bit of a D badge has happened, but I think this is telling me that this used to be an SS because the SS a bath usually have these wheels, so that would make sense. So, yeah, very nice. And then over here we have uh, the two bi colours. So, this one I guess it's a private plate, it spells RTH from the word of bath, obviously. But we've got the red and the dark grey, the uh, red calipers at the back there. Italian flag on the spoiler there. This one's a 595 Competizione, of course, with the Monza exhaust from Standard. And then here we have Teddy, who I just introduced you guys to. I worked with him and he told me about the meat, so thanks to Teddy. He's only just got this. He had an Alfa Romeo Mito, and I'd say he's upgraded to this above 595 Turismo. A lot of carbon goodies on here. Got a nice private plate on there. Didn't know he had that on there. It looks really, really cool. But for now, it's nice to actually see this car in the flesh. He's been talking to me about it. But it's really, really nice to see it in person. And yeah, you don't see many bi colours and here we have two out the front. So my parents have brought their a bath along. I've come in one of my cars, so I've just parked that down the road. But my parents' a bath is here at the front. I made them put on the number plate, of course. <laughs> made them represent me today. They've got their little convertible top folded nearly all the way back. Here from the Driven 24-7 sticker. Dad's finally put it on after having it in his house for like months. This to me looks like a very nice Turismo. So we've got the black on the outside and just look at that real nice contrast in red leather. Oh, love it. Oh, a glitter badge overlay. Just saw that <laughs> shining nicely in the sun. And we've got the other badge overlay and glitter on the back. I really like that. And then the actual main car park itself inside Revo's hub is absolutely jam-packed. Good thing about this meet is obviously all the baths are pretty small so you can proper ram them in here. And that is just what's happened. So this looks like another Turismo we have here. You've got the carbon um, mirror covers on there. Another nice carbon touch there. My shadow moves out of the way. This one inside has got the really nice brown leather that I used to have back in my Turismo that I had back in the day when I first started the YouTube channel. And just looking at the rear of this Turismo, we've got the Magneti Morelli exhaust system on here. Looking really nice sticking out the back. One nice big exit either side. Nice private plate on there. And we've got the Abarth stencil there in the grill. The Turismo, we've got the Abarth there in the grill. The Italian flag down the bottom there. Really, really nice. Got the kind of Ferrari style Scorpion center caps on there. And there's a kind of, again, Ferrari style Abarth badge. The more brushed silver wing mirrors, red bath decal down the bottom there. Another bad bath South Coast sticker on this car. And this one is also a convertible. Nice Series 3 Turismo here. Looking nice. Again, got the badge overlay. That's been painted black because so that wouldn't have been out of the factory. Got the red contrasting on this one. Always a big fan of the white and red. And a big fan of that style of wheel because they're the petals that I used to have on my Trofeo. This looks like the uh, entry level bath, like a 135. It's D-badge, so I'm just going to have to 
go by my bath knowledge of this one. Also rocking a nice little roof lip spoiler extension there. Series 4 here in the very nice podium blue with the blue a bad sticker again. Just so, so many. I haven't filmed a bath for a while so my descriptions may not be the best. But we have a little window open in here. We've got more leather goodness. Best colour here by far, of course, because I've owned two yellow bars myself. This looks like a competition. So again, we've got the kind of pressed, I don't know what D we're on, 3D, 4D gel plates, a bath in the grill there as well. The multi-spoke wheels in there, the Brembo's at the back. You can just about see the bath say about seats there. And that skull does not come with the bath from standard. And of course, we have the record ones on this one. We have the little scorpion badge in the rear diffuser there. Looks pretty nice. And we also have some devil looking man on the uh, fuel cap here. Red is quite the colour for the Abbas, and I have to agree, they do look good in red. Another nice Series 3. <laughs> now, this is a nice and a rare sight, to be honest. This is a Yamaha Racing Edition Abbas. So, again, a bit of the bi colour going on here. We've got the Yamaha sticker down the bottom there as well. Basically it's podium blue, but then obviously you've got the black on the top there. My apologies, it's actually a Monster Energy Yamaha edition, so these didn't come out that long ago. So yeah, it's not just a Yamaha, it's a Monster Energy Yamaha. <laughs> you can just see through the window there, you get the Monster embroidery in the top of the seat and the Yamaha Racing logo. It looks really, really nice. And the seats are also black and the Yamaha blue. Got the record ones on here, of course. This one's got a few colours going on. So we've got the grey, we've got the yellow stenciling in the grill again. Black and grey badge overlay. And then inside, the brown leather with the, the bath logo stitched in. In Looks like kind of matching the exterior colour of the car here, actually. Looks like the mirrors have been wrapped in black. Got the uh, diamond cut kind of petly wheels. Again, do like that shape. This one looks pretty modified. We've got different wheels on there, different exhaust system. I'm not sure what that is. A Scorpion exhaust system by the looks. AH, got my initials on it. Tinted rear lights. The roof looks like it's been uh, wrapped matte black. The wheels actually look pretty cool. So the roof wrap basically goes onto the bonnet as well. Got the nice little Scorpion decal on the side. So they're trying not to make this just in a bath meet, it's basically an Italian car meet, but obviously there are lots and lots of baths here. We do have a Panda 100 horsepower here as well. And that doesn't look standard on this car either. That's not standard, but I like it. We have another red bath here with some nice carbon touches on the front there. Oh, I like the wheels as well. Again, the Brembo's, the drilled brakes. This is really nice. I like. This looks like the wheels have been spaced on this one as well. Nice bit of kind of OEM looking stance. More carbon goodies on the rear. This is real nice competition, this one. Now, it's not a standard exhaust on there, but I'm not complaining. It looks really, really nice. It's got carbon kind of overtips over it as well. Another white bath here. Look how clean it is in there. Again, got the red bath stripe on this one. It looks really nice and clean and white, and it is just a clean colour because it is physically clean. I guess the owner goes by the name of McGore and likes number five. But yeah, it's just really, really nice. Oh, and we've got the Italian flag there on the spoiler. It looks like a roof wrap as well. And another bad a bath club sticker too and we have pepsi the poodle here rocking the italian flag on her collar let's have a look there we go she's a good girl you good girl oh she's scared <laughs> another nice podium blue a bath here as well with the multi-spoke wheels the yellow calipers and another nice engine just poking out here oh i can hear another one coming in quite like in the eyelids they actually do something to the front end of this car definitely make it more aggressive Another 595 Turismo with the red lettering in the grill. Never seen this before, but I quite like it. Kind of nice little badge there, the Ferrari Scorpion, a bath kind of badge there as well. I'm ashamed to say it, but I don't quite know how to say this. This is like a Scorpion special edition, so you've got the black and the gold detailing on it. So we'll just try and have a look around this one. Very nice special car. You get the gold wheels on there again, the drilled discs behind. Nice gold matching, bad a bar sticker there as well. 
check out the roof there on top as well this one so we're now filming on my big camera because my little camera bless it i've given it another chance it was dying and now it's completely dead so yeah we've got the big boy out now and what a nice car to film on a nice super duper camera we have a rare 695 anniversario edition i actually went to the launch event that above held at the, their hq for this car and yeah obviously it's the only one here so it's going to be a rare car and rare sight to see but on this one you kind of got the two-tone so the body kit was always going to be in a different colour to the actual body. And this was the kind of launch colour. So we got the nice, uh, again, different say about seats in this one compared to what you normally get in all the other bath models, that is. There we have it, a 695 Anniversario badge on the rear quarter. And you get the nice black motorspoke wheels there. But the coolest thing about this is you get a checkered roof and you get the wing that tilts and when it's in tilt like this which is the best place for it to be in it says a bath under there so yeah what a lovely touch you also get the old school of bath badges on this car because it's just like a throwback edition so you get those as well and you get the scorpion on a bonnet as standard and again the old school badge on the front actually filming this car again because it's actually a pista edition so they brought out these editions the trofeo and the pista i had the trofeo one that was my last above and here we have the pista basically like in betweeny models so on this car we have the nice multi-spoke wheels this is actually a 70th edition so you get a 70th edition badge on the rear and on the pista you get the monza exhaust the bars have literally filled up the whole revos now so just spalling out onto the front here we have this nice above competition it's just Turned up, the much spoke wheels again. Nice sea belt sticker, bad a bath sticker. We have another little bath tucked outside, but I won't miss you, I'll get you in a video. Looks like another comp. Multi spoke wheels on there. The bath badge. And here's my other half, Martin just turned up in his Mercedes. Get the badge overlay on this one, the little Italian flag on the spoiler as well. Nice little carbon fibre effect on the door handles there. This is sounding quite nice. Real nice Turismo has just turned up out the front here. So we got the nice badge overlay on the front. This is a very, very clean car as well. We got the black wheels on there with the red calipers. Nice silver mirrors. Looks like you've got nice black leather inside as well. But the thing I really, really like about this car is the whole spoiler. Got the Italian colours on there. That's a funny face there. We also have another Magneti Morelli exhaust system on the rear here, looking real nice. Just come across this really nice and rare, I suppose, 695 Rivali edition outside the front. And with the Rivalis, it was just more of a styling thing, to be honest. So you get the bi colour on there, nice little bit of pinstriping. Also came with these little grills on the back. Nice little uh, Rivale above overlay badge there as well. Being a Rivale, they came with the Acropovic exhaust system as standard. Yeah, it's just a real, real nice spot to have one of these here. And you've got the black multi spoke wheels in there, black Brembos, nice and kind of subtle look to the front, but I do appreciate it. I do anyway. You've also got Rivale Sunstrip and a Rivale coloured, one of those octopus trending kind of toys. Very pretty looking car. So a couple of people started leaving already and we're about to go in a minute. So it's been great filming above content back for the YouTube channel, all thanks to this meet today. So a big thank you to the Bad South Coast Above Club for holding this meet and obviously it's been held at the one and only Rebo's Hub and I hope to have more meets here myself. So yeah, it's been really good filming a array of baths today and talking to their owners and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this bath video. As I say, this is how my whole YouTube channel started in the first place, so it's always nice to bring above content back to the channel. Thanks to the Abad Abath Club once again. Thanks to you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video. Being held by the Bad Abath South Coast. Stop on that. So a big thanks to the Bad. So a big thanks to the Bad South Coast. So a big fan. <laughs> I can't say it. It's alright. <laughs>